Hey folks, this is David here with another episode of Dave's Minute, and let's just get this one right off the bat. Way to go, Fortnite. Way to go. Way to go, Epic Mega Game or Epic Games. As you've probably seen in the last couple of days, there's kind of the, I, I, I like the headline, there's been a battle royale, if you will, over the payments of some of these, some of our favorite mobile online games. Fortnite is at the center of payment processing. Who gets what? Who gets this money? Who gets that money? And Apple has really, I'm going to say it, they, 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 they kind of, put themselves in a bad light here and kind of got this started with the whole xCloud thing. They kicked xCloud out. They have kicked Fortnite out. And I'm sure there's some others coming. And I think Epic Games has really took the correct stance here of saying, look, we don't want a financial settlement. We want you to fix it so that it's fair for everybody. For me, what more can you ask for? You know, they're making millions of dollars, and if I'm correct, they're about a $17 billion company. It's the first company in a long time that's actually had cash on hand to go after somebody like Apple's policies. Now, what Apple says here is they won't control and their share of all payments. So let me break it down. They want their share if you buy a game or an app, and then they want their share if you buy a game add-on, for example, and they also want to be the ones to process those payments. What Epic Games had done was kind of circumvented the system a little bit, and they were taking direct payments on an in-game type setup. So, for example, if you bought a map or I'm not a huge Fortnite player, but if you bought something in-game, that payment went direct. And... That's not what everybody wanted. Or not what Apple wanted, I should say. They want their percentage. They want their control. But now if you look at that this way, that kind of follows the Apple way. Now you're talking to somebody here. I've been in the Apple ecosystem. I have owned the products. I have done the deal. The Apple Watch, the iMac, the MacBook, the HomePod, the iPad. I think I've owned everything but the AirPods. I don't anymore. But once you join that ecosystem, you have to learn that Apple is in control. And when they're putting 30% fees on their products, they're exercising that control. I've all, you know, after I got out of the Apple ecosystem, I learned third party products are pretty cool. Now, if you've got all the Apple products, things like Apple Music, they make sense. Me, I'm a Spotify, Amazon music user. I tried, what was it, Microsoft Music back in the day, whatever they called that service. I did. I tried it. It was Groove, I think. But I'm all, you know, I kind of figured out Apple is taking all of the money. They're controlling the marketplace and saying, look, you play by our rules. You give us our money. You don't do anything yourself, or we don't play. And let me ask a question. Why should Apple get this money for in-game transactions when 
They don't do nothing. I can understand they want to get their money for putting the app in the store. They deserve something. Google deserves something. But it needs to be fair across the board. I'm not sure what fair is. I know back in the day you went to GameStop or your favorite game store and you bought a gift card, a points card, a level card, whatever you want to call it. That's what we did. I don't know what the right deal is here. Apple's going to make billions of dollars either way. I just think we've hit the point that we finally found the right company to say, okay, look, we need to make it fair. Epic Games has a market share. They've got the pocketbook to put up the fight. And I think that's pretty good. What do you think? Is Apple doing right here? Do you think the way Apple's handling this situation is correct? What would you like to see done? Should Apple get money for microtransactions in games? Or should they just get money when you buy the app? Should companies be able to do their own? Could we do something where you pay a fee to be in the app store marketplace and that's all you pay? Each company handles their own transaction. Could we do that? What's the right solution here? I'd be interested in hearing some feedback if you guys have any. And I'd love to know what you think. Leave me a comment down below. Which platform do you use? What do you think should be done? Hope you guys are doing well. It's Friday afternoon. I'm headed to the house. Have a good weekend, everybody. Bye-bye.